Before hours after a Pima County Sheriff deputy was shot, the search for the shooter is still on. So take a look at your screen. This is the suspect who police believe shot the deputy during a domestic violence call at a home yesterday afternoon. His name is Gabriel Angel Atamirano. He's 39 years old. He's Hispanic male standing about five feet, six inches tall. Now the sheriff says he also has a tattoo of the Boston Red Sox logo on his neck. You see it right there in the picture. The suspect is still on the loose and should be considered armed and dangerous because he does have a violent criminal history. News for Tucson's Connor McGill was there and has more on what the sheriff had to say today. Well, hey there, as you mentioned, that second suspect still out on the loose at this time. It is worth noting that he is considered armed and dangerous. This morning we sat on a news conference from Pima County Sheriff Chris Nanos, where we learned more details. Today I asked the sheriff what the relationship was between the domestic violence victim and the suspect. The sheriff said there was once a relationship between the two. Now we are learning more about the timeline. The initial call came in around 10 a.m. The suspect left by the time deputies arrived. We're told he came back to the area around 12 p.m. And that's when he was spotted by deputies. Sheriff said the suspects drove off and eventually crashed, then got out and ran on foot. The sheriff describing what happened next. Our deputy chased him. In chasing them, he didn't realize that hiding in the bushes, like the coward this man was, he, he fired multiple times at our deputy. Our deputy's lucky to be alive. The sheriff also gave us an update into the status of that deputy that was shot. He says he was released from Banner University Medical Center early this morning. His name, Augustine Gonzalez. Again, this is a developing story, so make sure you stick with News 4 Tucson for the very latest. Reporting from the South Side, Connor McGill, News 4 Tucson. And it's good to hear that deputy is recovering. So police are